Hello friends let's listen the story of the wedding of the mouse this story was told by raktaksh to all the other ministers and stiljeevi the wedding of the mouse there was a beautiful hermitage on the bank of river ganges where a group of hermits lived in peace the hermits were disciples of a guru yatnavalkya who was always absorbed in meditation and followed rigorous self discipline one day while he was bathing in the river a hawk flew over with a mouse in its claws suddenly the mouse fell from the hawk's grip right into the hands of the guru when the guru noticed that the hawk was flying above he knew he cannot leave the mouse alone or he is to be caught again he put a mouse on a leaf of a nearby banyan tree and took a second bath to purify himself He used his powers to transform the female mouse into a little girl and took her to the hermitage. He said to his wife, "My dear, please accept her as our blessing as we do not have a child of our own." Thus the girl started growing in the hermitage under the care and supervision of the guru himself. She learnt many sciences and ways of life. Both the guru and his wife were very proud of their special child. One day the guru's wife brought into his notice that their girl had reached marriageable age. They decided to give it a serious thought as she was a special child and deserved a special husband. The next morning using his powers the guru summoned the son god to him and said, "Please accept my daughter's hand. I wish you to marry her." if she chooses so but the daughter said father the sun god lights up the entire world but he is unbearably hot and fiery tempered i do not wish to marry him please seek a better husband for me the guru wondered who might be better than even the sun god the sun god advised guru ji you can seek the alliance of the king of clouds he is superior to me for he can cover me and my light so the guru using his powers summoned the king of clouds and said please accept my daughter's hand i wish you to marry her if she chooses so but the daughter said father the king of clouds is dark wet and too cold i do not wish to marry him please seek a better husband for me the guru wondered who might be better than even the king of clouds the king of clouds advised guru ji you can seek the alliance of the lord of winds he is superior to me for he can blow me away so the guru using his powers summoned the lord of winds and said please accept my daughter's hand i wish you to marry her if she chooses so but the daughter said father The lord of winds is too fast and restless. He keeps changing his direction. I do not wish to marry him. Please seek a better husband for me. The guru wondered, who might be better than even the lord of winds? The lord of winds advised, Guru ji, you can seek the alliance of the lord of mountains. He is superior to me, for he can stop me from blowing. So the guru using his powers summoned the lord of mountains and said please accept my daughter's hand i wish you to marry her if she chooses so but the daughter said father the lord of mountains is too hard and rigid he is immovable i do not wish to marry him please seek a better husband for me the guru wondered who might be better than even the lord of mountains the king of mountains advised guru ji you can seek the alliance of the king of mice he is superior to me for he can make holes all over me so the guru using his powers summoned the king of mice and said please accept my daughter's hand i wish you to marry her if she chooses so when the daughter met the king of mice she was delighted and shyly agreed to the marriage The guru transformed her daughter to a beautiful female mouse for her to perform all household duties of her clan. Thus the guru's daughter was married. The moral of the story is 
what is inborn can never change so friends after telling the story of the wedding of the mouse raktaksha said i want you know that a crow is a crow and cannot become an owl yet risk disregarding raktaksha's warning the king's men took away their jeevi to their fortress not knowing that they were bringing ruin upon themselves and the king still jeevi thought on the way to his destination this man alone advised the king to kill me of all of the king's men he alone knows statecraft if they had heeded his word and killed me the king would have escaped disaster when still jeevi's procession arrived at the entrance of the fortress king arimardana ordered his men to accommodate him in a comfortable place of his choice but still jeevi had other ideas if he had to hatch a plan to kill the king it was not possible within the fort because he and his movements would be constantly under watch that would alert his hosts so he thought it was better to be outside the fort he told the king my lord i am grateful for your generosity but i am a politician and belong to the enemy camp yet i am your devotee and faithful servant it does not become of me to live inside the palace i will stay at the entrance of the fort and every day sanctify my body with the dust of your feet the king of owls accepted his request and let him stay where he wanted to the king's men took extraordinary care of his needs and very soon still jeevi became as strong as a wrestler seeing still jeevi's new personality raktaksha told the king and other ministers i regard all of you as very unwise haven't you heard the learned often repeating the words of the bird sinduka the bird used to say first i am a fool then the hunter and then the king and his ministers how was that asked the ministers and raktaksha began telling them the story of sinduka so friends we will bring the tale of the golden droppings very soon do write your views about the story of the wedding of the mouse in the comment section if you like this podcast then click the like button and also share it see you soon in the next story stay tuned with this series for listening to more panchatantra stories take care bye